So here we are at Motorcycle Live, and inside are three Kawasaki's I really want to show you. Let's go and have a look. I love designing bike concepts, and one of the parts of the process that is so satisfying is painting them afterwards. As well as my own designs, I'll sometimes take a retro paint scheme and transplant it to the new concept. I've got a good idea of what will work and what won't, so when Kawasaki UK asked me to come up with some ideas for the 40th anniversary of the Ninja with a special edition ZX-10RR, I was more than happy to get stuck in. Now the ZX-10R is a ridiculously fast superbike, and the RR version is an even faster bike. Aimed at track day nutters and race teams, it comes with lighter engine internals to allow it to rev higher, as well as Marchesini wheels to improve the handling. It's been pretty successful too, as it's won this World Superbike Championships seven times over the last decade. So how did I start the design process? Well first off, I had to see what size and shape canvas I had to play with, and looking at the ZX-10RR, it's actually got a little bit more bodywork on show than the average modern superbike, which is great. And the challenge was probably got to be around the tail unit, which is typically minimalist. And the big gap down the centre with fairing might be something I need to work around. So I got to work using various ninjas from over the years for reference and inspiration, like the GPZ 600 from the 80s, the ZXRs from the 90s, the motor GP bikes from the noughties, and even bikes that weren't strictly ninjas carried some of the same sports bike attitude. In total, I came up with over 20 paint schemes. This was eventually narrowed down to just six that were posted up on Kawasaki's Facebook page for their followers to decide on a winner. In the end, there was one design, but in three different color variants that got the most votes. And these are the ones that Kawasaki went with. I came up with more angles of the design showing all the way around the bike so that the paint shop had a good guy to go with. The winning designs were first revealed to Kawasaki owners in an article in the club magazine before being unveiled for real at Motorcycle Live in Birmingham's NEC. I was also interviewed during the presentation and I was absolutely buzzing because it was such a big moment for me. I think we should bring in the man who actually brought this uh, concept to life. He's just across here. Let's get Carl Lee across here. Uh, it's always great to see projects I've worked on come to life, but to have them launched at a major motorcycle show by a major manufacturer is something else. Before I show you all 25 designs that I came up with, here's a little walk around of the special edition 40th anniversary Ninja ZX-10RRs. These colour schemes are heavily inspired by the ones found on the ZXR400 and the 750 from 1993 and 1994. Only 40 bikes will be built and each one will wear a special plaque on the top yoke next to its Olin steering damper. The green, blue and green, red bikes come with the graduated pink Kawasaki logos as used during those years. The purple pink bike, officially called Ebony Metallic Eventide, was a clear favourite both in online polls and at the show. It's the one that gets a lot of attention, probably in part due to the fact that you just don't see that many pinky purple bikes. Spray Bay, based in Immingham, did the paint work on all three show bikes and will also paint the other 37 customer bikes. And that's definitely a good thing. Their work is absolutely incredible and the deep metallic purple used on the bodywork and wheels on this colour scheme has to be seen to be believed. The red and green version, otherwise officially known as lime green pearly alpine white sunbeam red, just looks like the healthiest way to make 200 horsepower, probably because it reminds me of apples. The differences that make the ZX-10RR that little bit more special over the stock ZX-10R are all geared to make it rev 400 RPM higher and go faster, including titanium conrods, lighter pistons, different valve springs and camshafts. 
It also comes with lighter Marchesini 7-spoke wheels and braided brake lines as standard, along with a carbon fibre Akrapovic can. All this performance and exclusivity will set you back £26,599. And as a thank you for making it this far in the video, here are all 25 paint designs that I came up with for the ZX-10RR. If you decide to use any of them on your own bike, please send me a photo when you've finished it, because I'd love to see it. So pull up a chair and get comfortable. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video and the story of how these paint schemes came about. Which was your favourite? Let me know in the comments below and if you want to see more, remember to hit that subscribe button. Cheers.